Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna do this interesting system of equations from Harvard MIT math tournament, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is real numbers x, y, z satisfy x plus x, y plus x, y, z is equal to one, y plus y, z plus x, y, z is equal to two, and z plus x, z plus x, y, z is equal to four. And the largest possible value of x, y, z is a plus b times square root of c over d, where a, b, c, d are integers, d is a positive number, c is square free, and g, c, d of a, b, d is equal to 1. Find 1000a plus 100b plus 10c plus d. So for this question, just to make it easier to work with, I'll be calling this k as largest possible value of x, y, z. Okay, then let's start with the first condition. That is about x plus x, y plus x, y, z is equal to 1. If you factor x out, then we have x times 1 plus y plus y, z. This is equal to just 1. And using this to talk about, maybe using the second condition, that is about y plus yz plus xyz is equal to 2. So we already called this largest possible value of xyz as k. So that's why for the second condition, we can rewrite that as y plus yz plus now the k is equal to 2. Subtracting k from both sides and add 1 to both sides, then we will get 1 plus y plus now yz. This is equal to now then 3 minus k. So that's why from this, okay, we can say x times 3 minus k. Okay, x times 3 minus k is equal to 1. So that's why your x has to be 1 over, now 3 minus k. Okay, we can do the same. We can focus on the second condition now, which was about y plus yz plus xyz. This is equal to 2. So if you pull this y out, then y parenthesis 1 plus z plus xz. This is equal to now 2. So we can do the same step from the previous one. So now if you talk about this third condition using k. So third condition is now z plus xz. And then we already call this xyz the largest possible value of xyz as k. So plus k is now equal to 4. So that's why from this, do the same, subtracting k from both sides, and add 1 to both sides. Then you'll be getting 1 plus now z plus xz. This is going to be equal to 5 minus k. So based on this, we can say y times this 5 minus k. Okay, This is going to be just equal to 2 which means your y is equal to 2 over 5 minus k. Okay, then let's talk about the third condition doing the same step. The third condition is now z plus xz plus xyz is equal to now 4. So pulling z out, then we have z times 1 plus x plus xy. This is equal to 4. Okay, then uh, using this first condition with the k instead of x, y, z, then this is the same as now the z. So it has to be x plus now x, y plus k is equal to 1. Doing the same thing, subtracting k from both sides and add 1 to both sides. It is going to be the same as then 1 plus x plus xy, this is going to be equal to 1 plus 1, 2 minus k. So that's why it says your z times 2 minus k is equal to 4. So your z is equal to 4 over 2 minus k. 
So using this expression of x, y, z based on k, we can represent your k, which is x, y, z as now 1 over 3 minus k times 2 over 5 minus k times 4 over 2 minus k. So if you do the cross multiplication, we'll be getting quartic equation that looks like k to the power of 4 minus 10 k cubed plus 31 k squared. Okay, that minus 30k plus 8, that should be equal to 0. And if you're using rational zero theorem, we can get 1 and 4 as the real roots quite easily. So k is equal to 1 and 4. And then after getting this 1 and 4 as the real roots, then we'll be getting quadratic equation. You can use quadratic formula to get 5 plus minus square root of 17 um, over 2. Okay, and then if you're choosing the biggest number out of those four values, it is going to be 5 plus square root of 17 over 2. And using this, your x is going to be 1 over 8, parenthesis negative 1 minus square root of 17. And then your y has to be 1 over 2, parenthesis 5, plus square root of 17, and then your z is equal to 1 over 2, parenthesis, 1 minus square root of 17. So it confirms that 5 plus square root of 17 over 2 has to be this value of the k. That should be the biggest one out of these four. So that's why, based on 5 plus square root of 17 over 2, we can get the value of a, b, c, d. So your a has to be equal to 5. And your b is going to be equal to 1. Then your c is equal to 17. And then your d is equal to 2. So that's why 1000a plus 100b plus 10c plus d that we are looking for is going to be 5000 5, um, plus 100b, that is 100 plus 10c, that is um, 107d, plus d, that is 2. So if you add those four numbers up, it is 5,272. So 5,272 is the answer for this question. Okay, so pretty interesting system of equations from Harvard-MIT math tournaments. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.